We've got a lot of new things at Brain Pop that we want to show you. Uh, we're moving away from movies and quizzes. If you think you know Brain Pop, then oh yes, we use the movies, we have the students take the quizzes. There's really a lot more to it. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, just to give you a quick 20 second bit on what Brain Pop is, is we are a database of animated curriculum content. We've got more than a thousand topics, short videos with quizzes, follow-up activities, uh, for eight different curriculum areas, focused mainly on K-8 instruction, although high schools do use us quite a bit as well. Uh, we're a multi-purpose classroom tool, um, but what's really exciting is where we're headed and what innovations we've made in the last couple of years. Uh, in addition to our main core BrainPop product, we've got BrainPop Junior, which is our K-3 product. We've got BrainPop Espanol, which is the BrainPop content in Spanish. We now also have a fully developed BrainPop ESL, a full uh, leveled ESL curriculum, 90 units across three levels, uh, which is a full clear scope and sequence for ELL instruction. So we're really trying to uh, expand what BrainPop is. Uh, but what I'm here today mainly to talk about is the changes within BrainPop itself. Uh, we've got some wonderful, exciting new tools. What you see up on the screen right now is our new concept mapping tool. Uh, this is our newest tool, and it's really changing the way that video can be used for instruction. Uh, using keywords and images from the movies, uh, students are able to construct self-directed learning opportunities um, that they can then forward into the teacher for feedback exchanges. Uh, additionally, game-based learning is an area where we've focused a lot of attention. Um, we've built a portal called GameUp that some of you may be familiar with, where we're now housing more than 125 games. Uh, these are partner games as well as games that we've developed on our own. We've aligned them all to Common Core uh, with lesson plans and other ideas for integration, and we encourage you to visit that game and come take a look at our table. Uh, but what we've been really trying to focus on is how do you build formative assessment into some of these games. Uh, so if you do have the ability in some of these areas uh, to save a place where you're on a game, um, there's the ability to get student and teacher feedback. Uh, you can see here on this screen there's ways that students can write a comment if they're stuck in a particular point in the game. So it asks students to reflect on the strategies, uh, articulate their thinking, ask questions, report problems that they're having within the game, send that feedback to the teacher, and the teacher can then uh, direct comments back to students. And they do this through our new My Brain Pop format. Uh, for those of you that raised your hands and think you knew Brain Pop, how many of you have used My Brain Pop yet? Not a one. Okay. So that's where the opportunity is. Please come back and see us at our table. 